Hey guys, this is uh, Jesse with PromoFit. Just wanted to uh, show you some uh, changes I've made with some of my plants. So, I I got my mint. They were out in uh, my windowsill a while ago. I have my kiwi, which I'll get to in a second. Female, male. Um, licorice basil. Uh... Mexican miniature gherkins, wintergreen, whole bunch of uh, uh, strawberries, sugarcane, which is doing amazing as soon as I got some extra light in here, which I'll cover in a second, and a couple of radishes. So, uh, oh, and my miracle fruit over there. Um, so I had to make a few changes here because... Uh, not only were the plants kind of getting in the way over in the windowsill there, but they weren't getting adequate light. They, uh, it's still winter, so the supplemental light that I had in the sun just wasn't cutting it. So, um, oh, and I put uh, my very sick and dying vanilla bean in a box that's eh, mostly sealed. Try to keep the humidity up. Let's see if I can actually <clears throat> show it to you. Yeah, it's hard to see. I haven't planted any seeds yet. Um, but, uh, so, start over the female kiwi. I noticed the leaves are getting uh, a bit yellow, kind of like this one is. And they were starting to drop off, and I just having generally some serious issues. I went and looked in my troubleshooting book, which I did the book review on, and it turns out it looked like it was going to be either a virus or it was going to be um, a uh, um, a mineral deficiency, uh, either manganese and calcium, or uh, magnesium and iron, or some I don't know some combination like that. And so I went and I got some fertilizer that was a uh, not just a general purpose NPK, but uh, had a broad spectrum of uh, micronutrients, micro minerals, and um, you can kind of see how easily that leaf fell off. And turns out, uh, as I look closer, there's a little bit of webbing going on, and there's little, little tiny speck bugs, little tiny guy, white guys. I mean, and they were tiny, hard to see. So I bought some, uh, I don't know if it's organic, but the weakest bug killer I could possibly get. It would still be effective. And I just, I took this out of the small pot that was in. I think it was in like a four inch pot. Because I also thought it might have been root bound a little bit. Took out the four inch pot. Got as much soil off the roots as I could. It was a little bit of root bound. But mostly that was from the manufacturer or the supplier. And I doused this thing. I turned it upside down. I covered it with the stuff. I pulled off any leaf that even had the, the slightest uh inkling that it was easily pulled off I pulled it off if it felt like it was attached I left it these are the ones that I left um, which is a fair number and anyways I sprayed the underside the overside the top side the bottom side the left side the right side I made sure that that stuff was dripping off of uh, the stems I, I made sure it was coated on the roots as much as I could get um, I didn't saturate the little root ball and soil and stuff and everything because I think the infestation was mostly up in up in this area, but I covered as much as I possibly could, and I think I knocked them down, if not eradicated them, um, and I moved everything out here so it could get more light. I have a couple of high wattage. I think I have uh, an equivalent 300 watt and, and 250 watt, or vice versa. They're slightly different shades. One is uh, I think like a 4500 or 2500 K and the other one is a uh, slightly brighter one or slightly wadded I don't know I don't know then I got I believe a 6500 K um, T12 a couple of those coming here and uh, they're 40 watts a piece then we got a little uh, uh, 26 watt CFL over there that's 6500 K and the first thing I noticed as soon as I added the extra light, the sugar cane went from dying. It literally looked like like the main leaf was this color. Let's get you in close here. 
It's this color. Within a day and a half, it was this vibrant green. And, uh, and now two of them are that color. So this guy is just soaking up the light. Um, now I've, I've overwatered some of the strawberry. I overwatered everything because at first I wasn't getting enough. And uh, as soon as they got the first inkling of water, all the strawberries took off. Then I overwatered and I got some damping, dampening off. So this guy is just about done. This guy is pretty much done. Um, I don't know if it'll come back or not. Maybe if the soil dries out. Now some of them that were really good thrived. Some of them are, you know, had trouble recovering, but are recovering. And this guy, these guys might as well. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, but kind of is what it is. I want to keep this kind of short. This box is semi-sealed to keep the humidity up. Right now I'm at 68% and rising. Um, I just put a little bit of water in there and I'm hope and I sprayed it with some, I got some, uh, Orchid uh, plant food mist. So I don't know if it's going to recover or not. I'm not too worried about that guy. But the sugar cane's pretty awesome. You can go to Mother Earth News and check out more about small time uh, sugar cane. And my kiwi's my big one. The male didn't get anything, but I soaked it as well. I covered everything because I didn't want to cross contaminate. I sprayed everything down. Uh, the mint had a little bit of infestation. I, I coated that. I sprayed everything here. Sprayed everything there. You know, you got to watch out the frequency of how often you can spray. I got to wait six days before I can do it again. But other than that, uh, I just want to kind of give you an update. This is the majority I have here. I got uh, some more different seeds in. I'm going to get started here eventually. But um, I just uh, going to probably spend the next few days or week kind of babying the kiwi and I want to get back, it back up. And, and it, was, it was just doing stellar. Uh, right up until the infestation. Other than that, um, I have a, uh, I'm getting close to the uh, hard drive giveaway. As soon as I hit that 200 mark, uh, I'm going to pick a random person in the comment section for uh, the, the original video, give that away, and then I have a project. I'm going to actually try manufacturing something once a month and giving that away. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to try to do is manufacture a copper cup or a mug or something and give it away, but I'm not 100% sure just yet. Other than that, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, shout out to uh, Freaky Geek 2 on the uh, aeroponics herb garden deal. Uh, hope that's up and going good. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of herbs you're going to grow. Other than that... Uh, Go plant something if your weather is permitting. Grow your own food. Don't be reliant on the man. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.